The African server is home to some of the widest ranges of carnivorous builds in the game. Here, you're able to find players manning things from lions to giant crocodiles, and just about everything in between. But there's one predator often overlooked amongst the rest, but one that you will still find more than any other. This is the Spotted Hyena, a build with the reputation of an ugly kill-stealing troll, sporting a player base that only exists to spam their laugh emotes. <laughs> But does that reputation actually represent the hyena? Or is it that the hyena is actually overpowered? To answer these questions, let's do an overview of the hyena faction as a whole, then take a look at their playstyle, stats, abilities, and lastly their matchups. A hyena. Is it a dog? Is it a cat? Well actually the hyena is neither. Instead, it belongs to its own evolutionary branch of builds that split off from the cats during the Miocene patch, making their closest relatives, not the lion or the tiger, but actually the mongoose or the meerkat. As the game evolved, only four hyena species survived. The aardwolf, then there's the brown, striped, and spotted hyenas. From worst to best goes, the aardwolf, the least popular of the bunch. By focusing on insectivory rather than hunting larger prey, it's possibly the most unique of the four species. They use their sticky tongues to absolutely destroy termite colonies, but this specialization limits their effectiveness in head-to-head -head matchups and relegates them to the bottom of the rankings. The next are the brown and striped hyenas. I sort of see them as the same builds with different skins, which is why their main difference lies in their appearance. Nevertheless, both species specialize at scavenging, with powerful jaws capable of cracking bones. This provides access to high-level loot like bone marrow. Additionally, they can basically eat anything. This is because they specialize in passive resistances to disease allowing them to consume XP that even has rotten status effects. Regardless though, all three of these builds lack important features that are required to be top tier. For this reason, the Spotted Hyena is by far the most popular. This is because they've taken all the core aspects of the classic hyena kit, but improved on all of them, while adding some of their own interesting mechanics. Let's start with stats and abilities. Their main defense and offense, much like their relatives, is their bite. But the Spotted Hyena has taken this to a whole nother level. As a result of their enhanced molars, they're not just able to crack bone, but to crush it, making their bite stronger than a lion or a grizzly. These powerful bites mean that if you're unlucky enough to get game over by a Spotted Hyena, just know when you go back to pick up your loot, nothing's going to be there. Because within minutes, a group of Spotted Hyena can consume an entire player. Combined with this powerful attack move, they're also larger than any other Hyena. At first glance, they might not look like it, but they're actually the size of a wolf, with some large females even being able to grow up to 180 pounds. This robust build gives them the chance to tank damage that would kill similar sized players, such as direct attacks from lions, and this also helps when attempting takedowns of high level players. Now, their high level bite and durability doesn't really set them apart in a meta filled with individuals like lions, leopards, or wild dogs, yet they're the most numerous large carnivore on the server. So what is it that they're doing to be so successful? Well, this all comes down to one stat in particular, their intelligence. Unknown to most players, by some metrics, hyenas are the most intelligent carnivorans of all time, with intelligence in social structures comparable to many primates, with some even going as far as outperforming chimps in some intelligence tests. With these stats, they've become one of the most social builds in the game, second only to humans, allowing them to form clans consisting of upwards of 80 individuals. These clans are held together by a strict matriarchal hierarchy. This means that females hold higher social rankings and the pack is led by a dominant female, the Alpha. She's usually the oldest and the biggest with a fierce attitude to match. That's because in order to rise up the ranks of a hyena clan, you have to fight for it. Below her are the other adult females, each with their own rank based on how tough and dominant they are. The males, on the other hand, if you're unlucky enough to spawn in as one, you might as well just restart. That's because male hyenas are almost always placed at the bottom of the social hierarchy. This means you'll get worse food, worse living standards, and overall leads to male hyenas playthroughs being about half as long as the females. Despite this hierarchy though, hyena clans are still a tight-knit community with strong social bonds. They protect, play, and groom each other, but most of all, hunt together. Spotted hyenas are persistence hunters, this is a surprisingly straightforward strategy. All it requires is for you to chase down your target and make them run out of stamina before you do. And since your target is going to be too tired to fight back, taking them down should be a piece of cake. However, this strategy requires high mobility stats to pull off. 
And while they have tapped into some adaptations to boost their mobility, like their enlarged hearts, lungs, and their weird body proportions, which allow them to abuse an energy efficiency glitch, their numbers are the most important feature of this hunting style, as they can coordinate their efforts using different strategies to outmaneuver and exhaust their prey. Moreover, some hyenas can take the lead in the chase, while others can wait in the back to relieve them when they themselves get too low on stamina. With all these strategies and stats put together, the spotted hyena is able to climb deep into the rankings, making them one of the fiercest builds in the African server. However, they do have some downsides that limit their rankings. But before we take a look at those, I know you have some questions, so I'm quickly going to fire through some to clear up any confusion. First, why is the spotted hyena spotted? Well, they use these skins because it grants them buffs to their camouflage and stealth stats. Why do they spam their laugh emote? A lot of players see this as a sign of disrespect. And it's easy to see why. Hearing laughing right before your game over isn't very pleasant. However, the real reason isn't so tilting. The spotted hyena actually laughs to communicate with other hyenas, whether that be excitement, fear, or just to find their teammates. They always use that annoying laugh. So don't get too upset when you hear them emoting. And lastly, can you have one as an ally if you're a human player? Yes, but it's not recommended. Your duo must start their save file with you, so they're able to grow and get accustomed to people. But even still, one misclick could mean a hyena bites their hand off. So maybe it's not worth it. Now, if I left out one of your questions, leave them below. Anyways, let's get into the drawbacks. Firstly, their pack's strict hierarchical structure leads to a nerfed reproductive rate. This is basically because of a unique way in which females show dominance over each other. Let's just say it's hard to tell a male hyena and a female hyena apart. And a lot of the time leads to the game over of a mother when a new player spawns. Nevertheless, the largest drawback of the hyena doesn't come from the build itself. Instead, it comes from their number one rival, a carnivore build that utterly dominates, the build that is unquestionably the most meta-defining in the server. This is the largest predator in Africa, the largest big cat in the game, the king of the jungle, the lion. The average lion is far bigger than the average hyena, and this is especially obvious when a male lion is trying to 1v1 a hyena. These fights are so outmatched that 10 times out of 10, the lion will win. The only turning point for the hyena is if they're able to catch a lion alone. However, these rare instances really only happen to newbie lion mains. And even in these cases, male lions may still be able to win, even in a 1v20. Though the fact that hyenas live in such large groups does protect them, with certain clans even being able to scare off lion prides. Nevertheless, this matchup is extremely one-sided. And it doesn't help that lion mains actually hate the hyena community so badly, they sometimes go out of their way to game over any they see. Lions basically act as a stat checker to the hyena. They're stronger, more powerful, have better mobility, and live in prides. These prides often bully hyenas away from their own loot, and there's really nothing they can do about it, because a pride of lions is the most dangerous force in all of Africa. Overall, in the arms race between the hyena and the lions, the lions are winning. Because of this, while the hyena might be considered OP in other servers, in Africa, they cannot be any higher than A tier. And until lions get nerfed or banned, it will remain this way. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support me in these videos, please subscribe and I promise to keep making more. And thank you so much to David for watching all the way through my last video. I know it was long, but I'm happy you watched all the way to the end. Anyways, love you all and Jehona out.